Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from the Art Crafts channel and today's tutorial is going to be this fun and whimsical little hat. It's a little beanie and it just has all the curlers on, on her head. I did the tutorial in here in the yellow because the brown, although I like it better, it didn't uh, film well. So here you can see that I just put her curlers on her hair and then she's got little bangs just like this one here so this one's for a, a child size so um that's why it's not i'm not able to push it all the way down onto the head or i don't want it to lose the shape but it's got the little um forehead patch and then the bangs so this little beanie i just had fun and i just call her natural beauty I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. It's fun. It's something different. So, um, you can make it with any color hair you want. I just used a medium weight, uh, weight yarn from uh, Super Saver. I hope you'll just enjoy this tutorial. Let's get the party started. Okay, everyone, to begin, you use whatever color you want the hair to be. Like I said, this one here, it was in the brown, so that was brown, uh, dark brown. You can make it black, you can make it a light blonde, red, whatever color you want. And we're going to begin by my using my basic beanie pattern. So just going to make your little slip loop here. And then you're going to begin by crocheting four chains. So here I'm just going to do four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to slip stitch into my first chain here. Okay, and I'm going to pull out my my uh, loop here. There's going to be a little circle there. So now we're here to go up, you chain three. One, two, and three. And now into the circle. This is going to count as our first double crochet. I'm going to do 11 double crochets into the circle. Remember our double crochet, you yarn over. You go into the circle, pull out your yarn. There will be three loops there on your yarn. You pull through the first two and the last two. So here I would have one, two, three. I'm going to make 12, uh, 12 double crochets into that first circle. Okay, I've completed the 12th double crochet. So here I'm going to slip stitch, slip stitch into the third chain. One, two, three. I'm going to go in there, pull out. And now I'm going to go up to my next row. You're going to, to have a total of 12 uh, rounds, excuse me. So here I'm going to go up again with three chains. One, two, three. I'm going to yarn over and into that same stitch here, I'm going to make another double crochet. Because in the second round, if you've done beanies with me before, we know that the second round we're going to have two double crochets in every stitch. So every chain here, we're going to have two here. So you're going to have a total, on the first round you had 12, including your chain 3, and in this one you're going to have 24, including that chain 3. So go ahead and do your entire round here with two double crochets in every stitch around. So when you finish here, you should have 24. Oops. So I will come back when we have the 24 stitches. Okay, I've just finished my 24th uh, double crochet, so I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain just like I did in my previous round. We're going to repeat what I just did here on my next round. Chain three, one, two, three, double crochet into that same space there. And I'm going to do two double crochets in every uh, stitch here around. So I should have uh, 48 here. So go ahead and do that and we will meet here for the next round. Okay, now I finished the third row, so here I'm going to slip stitch once again into my third chain. And here's the only time it's going to be different. If you're going to be making this for an adult size, but I'm using a size H hook, so this is, I'm not making it for adults, obviously. Um, so for this, then for round four, if you're making it for an adult, then of course for all of them, you're going to chain three to go up. If you're making it for adult, sorry about that's my phone then you would do uh, um, uh, increase in your first so you would be two uh, two double crochets here so here you would do a double crochet here okay and then followed by one double crochet in the next two chains so you're basically doing an increase every third chain 
since I'm only doing and you do that all the way around since I'm doing it just for the chai of uh, toddler I'm going to just yarn over and I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch okay and I'm going to do that until I have 11 rounds so this is my one two three four you can do continue one double crochet in every stitch until you have 11 rounds okay so I'm going to go ahead and finish all my rounds and once you start getting to this point the hat will start taking shape remember you can make it in any color you want the hair brown black this uh, yellow you could do it uh, gray you could do it uh, red whatever color you want so I'm going to go ahead and finish all my 12 rounds and then we'll come back and work on the rest of the hat the basic beanie will just be that um, the solid color okay I finished all the rounds of my hat and where you started here that's the back part of your hat so now we're going to do the little patch that is for the forehead you just need to get a pe uh, some yarn that is the same weight as what you're working here and just maybe something like a flesh colored whatever color you want um, it's totally up to you if you want it darker you can even try to match the a child's skin if you want to um, so here to begin we're just going to chain 19 okay so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, 19. I'm sorry guys, my phone keeps beeping. Um, so here on my 19th chain, now I'm gonna do one half double crochet in every chain across beginning in the second chain from the hook. So here's one, two. So here on the second chain, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. I yarn over, I'm gonna go in there, pull out my yarn. I'll have three loops of yarn on the hook on my hook I'm gonna pull through all three that's my first half double crochet I'm gonna do one in every chain across so I should have 18 half double crochets and I'm gonna do two let me see one two four rounds of this so one so I'm gonna go ahead and do one half double crochet in every chain across okay I finished my first round now to go up I'm just gonna chain one you're going to do one chain, turn your work over, and then in every chain you're going to do one half double crochet. And you're going to do this until you have a total of four rows. You're just going to repeat row two for row three and four. And then we'll come back and work on our next row because that in, uh, in includes a decrease. So go ahead and do one half double crochet in every chain, every stitch you have all the way across, and you're going to work until you have four rows of the half double crochet okay i finished my fourth four rows and so now to go up to my next row i'm going to chain one i'm going to turn my work over here i'm going to work a decrease in the first two stitches and in the last two stitches so here they're also going to be half double crochet so i'm going to yarn over i'm going to go into my first chain here pull out but now i'm going to have three loops there i'm not going to pull out yet i'm going to go into my next stitch pull out now I have four loops on that I'm going to pull through all four I'm going to do one half double crochet in each chain across when I get to the last two here I'm going to work another decrease so here I'm going to go ahead and do one half double crochet in each chain across and when I get to the last two then we'll do the decrease So go ahead and work until you get to your second to the last chain. Okay, I cut into my second to the last chain. So here I'm going to yarn over, go in there, pull out, go into my next chain. I'll have four. I'm going to pull all the way out. So now I have a decrease in the beginning and I have a decrease in the end. Okay, so now we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five. One more row of half double crochet, one half double crochet in each stitch in each chain there and then I'm going to fasten off when I finish here and this the forehead piece here is then ready to um, sew onto our beanie 
but we're gonna sew the, this piece on first before we start doing the hair because then it's easier to maneuver without having the hair and all the curlers on there so if you want to do eyebrows on her you can it's totally up to you and um, so here I'm almost done and then we'll get make sure you leave a long tail so you could sew it on okay and okay my last stitch here so now here I'm going to cut a long piece leave a long string so that I could sew this onto my beanie the front of my beanie okay I'm going to fasten off there now remember that where our string is here the yarn that's the back part so we don't want to sew on there oops let me see we don't want to sew on this part you're going to turn your beanie over this way and then this um, piece that we just did let me see the right side okay you're going to just kind of um, here's the middle so I'm going to fold this in half find my middle there and then I'm going to start sewing it you can pin it together with the safety pins to get it in place so it doesn't move and then I'm just going to use a slip stitch and then pin it all the way around I mean sew it all the way around so I'm just going to get some safety pins um, and just put it in place here I don't want it to move and don't pin it don't sew it super hard super uh, tight because you want it to be able the beanies still to be able to move and stretch when you wear it so here I'm just gonna put some pieces some pins on here just to hold it in place there's another one okay what happened here those got caught let me get a different one Okay, now you're just going to get your yarn. I put my needle here and then I'm just going to start, I'm going to bring it up here to the top and I'm just going to sew it here just on the, like a running stitch like this into my little chains. Don't do it real tight because you want this to be able to stretch when the, when you put on your beanie. So just that way, let me see if I can show you a little bit closer. I'm just sewing it onto the chain there and then on here I'm just going to work just below the edge uh oh I just lost my needle here I should have done it so that's see how this is already that's already detached let me put my needle through here again and I want you to just sew it like that all the way around then even along the bottom edge and that's once you okay do I finished sewing the hat on so now this is going to be the forehead, okay? So when you do, um, if you've ever put on curlers, these don't have to be perfectly straight. Let me get my mannequin here. So Okay, so if you could see the mannequin here, I just pretty much did like a row all the way back and then another row on each side here and then just a couple in between. You don't have to put this many, you can put as many or as few as you would like to do. Um, I just think that kind of looks the way curlers are. So you know how you, you set your hair. So remembering this is the forehead part, the front that we just um, attached here, where our back, our tail is here, that's the back of the head. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using these same rounds as a guide to place my um, curlers. So here one, two, and three. On this row, I'm going to do a row of bangs, okay? And so here, you're just going to put your hook there, underneath there, and you're going to attach your bangs. And you're just going to do it here, following the same place we do here. Okay, so here. So now let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to get a ruler. And uh, my bangs are about, let me see here, they need to be maybe about this long and then you're going to trim them to make them even. So 
going to be about 7 inches long. This ruler is 14 inches and that's why I like to use it. If you want to make them a little bit shorter, that's up to you because you're going to trim them with your scissors just like you do a haircut. So then you're going to get your ruler and just cut out your first strip. Remember this strip is actually going to be folded again and then you're going to cut it like this, okay? So it's just doing a little strip 7 inches. If you only have a ruler that's 7 inches, that's okay. In every one of these little clumps of the bangs, I did two strands. So, one, two, you're going to do about maybe 16 or 20, depending on how thick you want it. So I'm just going to do a bunch of these strands. Okay. And then these will be cut in half. Okay, once you have two of these, you're going to have two of these, you're going to fold them in half just like this, and they're not going to be perfectly straight. It doesn't have to be because we're still going to trim them. You're going to have them this way like this with a little loop, just like that. You're going to fold them over, get your beanie where you've put on your um, hook. This is where the, the, head, the head forehead was, as one, two, three. It's on the third loop. If you want to count from the top, it's the middle one is one, two, three. On the fourth round, here just kind of lining up in top of the forehead, you're going to pull it through there. And once it's pulled through there, you can pull the two strands. And if it's easier for you to pull them with your hook, you could do that. Okay. So this is going to be the first. Let me show you. Let me move back so you can see what it looks like. It's going to be the first strand of bangs, okay? And you're just going to keep putting strands all the way across, okay? So you're going to be doing one in the next space, the next space, all the way around until you get to the other side. Once you get to the other side and it's done, then we'll just kind of trim them off a little bit. It's totally up to you. So here is going to be the bangs. So I'm going to go ahead and put, continue putting on strands here of my little strips. Here's my next two strips. I'm going to fold them over like this. There's the middle. Let me get my hook here. I dropped it on the ground. So here I would put my next the next one here. Pull them out. And if it's easier for you to pull them through with both strands, you can. Sometimes they get caught and it doesn't work. See how I just missed that one? So here's my next space with my four strands or my two strands. And now it's continuing to shape my bangs. Don't worry if it's uneven like this, you're going to trim it. I'm going to go to my next space here. And continue doing that all the way across. I'm going to cut some more of my strips so that I could have more bangs. Remember, each one of these you're going to have to put two little strands together. So each one of these that you cut is going to be one, I mean, one set. Because here I cut another one. So these I will fold them again. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight because. You're going to trim them at the end. So here's my next strand. And I'm just going to continue repeating across. So go ahead and continue repeating across to do your bangs. Once you do your bangs, we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the hair to put it into the curlers. Just like that. I hope you can see the lighting is not as well good as I would like. Oh, maybe that's worse. Okay. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and work all the way across. See, I'm working from this edge here all the way up to this edge here. So I'm going to come back when I finish putting all my bangs. Then we'll move on to the hair and the curlers. Okay, as you can see, I finished doing all the bangs. You're just going to go all the way across. I still haven't trimmed it off yet. So what you want to trim them. You're just going to do them a little bit over the forehead here. So here the back is the sky. And I just usually do just a little piece at a time like this. Just lay it flat. 
and um, probably here let's trim it there get your next pieces kind of lay it flat and just go across slowly without getting the bottom piece and I'm not really good, I'm not a hairdresser, so um, I'm just trying to trim it across and just like that, okay? And see it's not straight because I'm not good at trimming. I'm not a hairdresser, people. So maybe these have to be a little bit better there. Just like that. So her bangs are done. I'm sorry, that's probably as straight as I'm going to get them. Okay, so that's done. Now to start doing the hair for the curlers here, we're going to put, you're going to attach your hair the same way. Here, on this curler, it's on the third, I started here like on the one, two, and then here on the third row. I'm just going to go and attach them like a row going down. One going down here and another going down here. So I'm using the rounds as a way to be able to, excuse me, sorry about the camera, to be able to um, keep my place. So here's the very top second. So I'm going to start doing my first curler. So here's one, probably here or here, okay? Maybe here. So I'm just going to do three little pieces in each hair. If you want to do two, you can do two. Just put more pieces of hair. So that's going to be it. Like If you want to figure out where the middle is, just fold your, your beanie like this. You'll get the middle and then just going to do one, two, and three. Just to get the hair on there. For these um, strands, we need to make our strand, um, our little strands 14 inches long and you're going to need to cut like 60 of these or something like that. I don't remember how many I did. So here's one and then I'm just going to double it two. Okay. And these, we're not going to cut them in half. These have to be 14 inches long. I'm going to fold them over just like I did before for the bangs. Okay. And I'm going to come here, pull my first set of hair down through and you can make as many rows as you want or you prefer I just did it because this is usually the way most women set their hair if you, it doesn't have to even be neat I'm gonna put three two or three of these in each one so here maybe two here's my next I'm gonna skip the next little chain here and probably go here and do my next set okay so here's one Two. Remember, these are going to be 14 inches long each. They don't have to be perfect that length. Okay, you're going to fold it over. Get it through your beanie here. And I usually skip two, ro two rows. Like, make sure this one, the next one, I skip two rounds so that they're not so tight to each other. Okay, so here's my next set there okay and that's usually enough if you want to do more that's up to you you're gonna get your your hanger I uh, don't put the, the don't put the um, you don't have to put in um, the roller yet but I just want to show you guys how you would do this this is gonna repeat this so here then in the next round you're gonna be here one two you're gonna put your next hair strips there then here you're gonna go one one, two, here's the next one, and then one, two, one, two, or you could do three, and then you're just going to put some on the sides. So when you finish doing your hair, let me show you, you just get your yarn. This one you don't even have to trim. You're going to, I took this all apart. Remember I got that from the dollar store. And depending if you roll your curlers in or forward, you just put it here. And I'm just going to roll it up, just like that, just like if it was a regular piece of hair. Let me see if I could get this neater. Get that tight there, roll it up, 
and I don't put them really tight because you want it to be able to stretch when you put the head your hair on. If you need to turn to adjust, like if it's going to be pointed the wrong way, turn it in here. And now I can put my little curlers on. If you have a different kind of curler, just use it whichever way it says to put it on. And then your first curler will be there. See, it's kind of loose, so I'm going to have to make it tighter. Here, do this tighter. And then put it on. So that's my first roller. And that's how you're going to keep doing it. My next round, then my next row here is one, two, so I'm going to do it here somewhere, maybe here and here. Pull some more hair through there. And I'm going to probably have four or five. One, two, three, four, five. So, and whenever you see how people style their hair, you're just going to do it that way. So here's my banks. Here's my first one. Two, three, four, five. So I did five going back. Three on this side, on each side of the face, on the head here. And then just two here between those. Let me see if I could do it. Let me move the camera further away so you could see what I'm doing here. So see, it's just this way. You don't even have to put that many um, curlers on. It's up to you. But remember these, you could just, here I put three strands in this one, in each one, one, two, three. But it's not really necessary because here, I, I, what I mean about three strands, I mean like two, I put one, one, um, one strand with four and then the other one with four, so two times. And it still looks kind of the same, so I don't know if you could tell the difference there. That one was with three, this one's with two. So I'm going to continue doing this. Just pretend there's an imaginary line like you're setting curlers. I'm going to do what in my next one here. When I mean my next one, I mean my next strings of hair. Then, I, this is one, two, so my next one's going to be here. Then one, two, my next one there. One, two, and there. So I'm just trying to uh, like leave like two. Can you see here there's one, two, two rounds between each curler. So this would be here, one, two, so I have to do here in the middle. That's the very top of the head. And then here, one, two, the next one. One, two, here, two, there. And once I do those back, it'll give me the shape for the ones going across. Now I'm just gonna come somewhere here in the mid next to the head. So just saying this is my head, go back here. So now I'm just gonna put, follow the same line here and then do hair there, hair there, hair there, and I'm just going to do three of them. So I want you to do that. I'm going to continue working on this hat and um, then we'll come back and then it'll be done. If you want to put eyebrows, you can do that. If not, that's all you need to do. You just need to sew in your tail and you'll have a fun, whimsical little hat. This one's for a toddler, so I think it'll be really cute. And I call this little beanie um, natural beauty. So I'm going to go ahead and finish them off and then I'll show you how I'm going to be working on it. My next ones will be here. I'm going to do my, uh, pull, make my strands and then you can watch me as I work on this. So here now I'm going to count two. So there's one, two, and I'm just following this line here. And my next two will be here. If you want to do three three strands, that's up three of them. That's up to you. Um, so here I'm just going to pull it through here. Remember these are the long strands. These are 14 inches long. 
and remember you don't have to trim these at all these are not being trimmed because um, these are just um, going to be rolled up so you don't have to trim this at all um, there's no need for that so here's my next one remember I said I was going to do four or five of them so this is my third row so here's one two three here's my next one so here's one two go down follow it in the next round um, the next little round there gonna get two more strips fold it over and continue working one I'm just doing two if you want to put another like another one in there that's up to you so here it is pull it through and then pull it through there okay so that's my fourth one I think I'll do a fifth one so I'm gonna cut some more string some more yarn here one two so that I could have the five along the top just like my other one here so now once again I'm going to count down two rounds one two and my last one would be just here they don't have to be perfectly straight one two okay but because this is going to be the curlers and you can adjust the curlers like pushing it a little bit to the left or to the right here right next to it once you do that you can start putting on your curlers just so to give you shape these are my little from the dollar store so it wasn't too bad I think I spent two dollars for the for the two packages so that I could have enough so now I'm just gonna take this whole thing apart get my curlers and just do like you're doing your hair see that grab it roll it over twist it on there you go I don't even know if people use foam um, curlers anymore because there's so many hot um, curlers and the styling stuff so but here is going to be my next section. I'm going to put it on here and roll it, kind of curl it on there. Just like if you were putting your hair on there. Roll it. Oh, that one's uh, kind of messy here. Let me try again. And there. Put my. Boom, put it on. And then you're going to see how it's just making that row, like if you were doing your hair. And then you just start the same way that you did this. I want you to do the sides. You're going to have three, the one going back and forth from the back of the head to the top, front of the head has the most. So there's the next one here. Here I'm getting my last piece, my last ones. So I'm just gonna roll it up. There you go. And if you think that's too tight, you could do it looser. It's up to you. Oh. I think it's I did it too tight. There you go. Let me find that little piece of turn it there. Okay. So I've done the section here from the front to the back. Can you see that? 
the back of the head is just going in a row like that and now that I have that part then I'm going to follow here and do one here another one there and another one there so that it looks like my other head see with the three and so you just continue doing it that way when it gets make some more strips and you follow the same round here so the next round is going to be the next one is going to be here I'm going to put two rows two um, strands there with two I'm going to put two strands here with each one has two strands so it's before little strands I'm going to go one two put the next one here one two and do my last one there on the sides I'm only doing three and then on the other side I do the same thing following the same here do my first one there one two the next one one two and then my last one and then since when you do those there's going to be a space here you could either put your it depends on how you like it I get mine um, this way with uh, let me see here can you see that Jeez, I don't know if you can see that okay let me see these were this this okay for us this is the front okay so that was the front and then my side ones are there and then the ones in the back here that are between the top and the front I just did two this way if you don't like it that way you could just do it up and down like this it's totally up to you but I'm gonna do it this way so uh, go ahead and finish doing the rest of your strands and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done okay everyone I know I'm not a good artist but I just wanted to show you how I put the um, the curler so this was our forehead like just this is the front of the head right so this is the forehead and the bangs so now here we can see here our forehead and our bangs and then I have my first two curlers here which would be one two that's the front of the head and then on the sides we're gonna put beginning on the same round here on the second round we're gonna put one two and three on either side one two and three the back of the head I've already done here you can see one two three four and five is the total for that middle row so here is the top which is this one here and then you're gonna do one two three more on the back to do your total row so it's going around like that and then our sides here we have three on either side of the head and then two little ones two of them where that space is in between because when we do our head I could do it here when we do this is the front when we do our three curlers let me see can I go further back oh, okay you have you have their middle ones here then you have one two three and then between the sides and the back you're gonna have a space so that's where we're gonna do two there this is the back the space in between and then the sides so your head needs to look something like that and if you want to do it differently that's up to you you don't even have to put them lined up some people just make crazy curls so that's all you're gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that and then I'll come back and I'll show you my blonde finished beanie this of course is the finished in the t in the brown so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and just remember that's kind of how I put the crazy curls I know this is supposed to be the forehead and your bangs so just to give you an idea you can place your curlers any way you like in any direction I just like to do it that way because it kind of reminds me of the way my mom used to do it so I'm going to come back and show you the finished beanie